real fat girl get up stand up But if you're not at nar fat then don't stand up It's a for the real jar drop away get one up Girl walk out in the middle make a girl know your my name is Dimitri Maramliadis and this video will show you how to inflate the correct way the speed valve. Okay, so pay attention to this video so we can all go kiting as soon as possible. Okay, so as you can see, we have two different types of valves. We have the speed valve here and the old-fashioned valve here. So the speed valve is for uh, deflating and inflating the fast way. And then this valve is the old-fashioned way, okay? The reason we have these two valves is because of two uh, options. Is uh, One is, have you ever been to the beach that uh, you don't have a, a pump and you want to borrow a pump, but then the person has only this type of valve nozzle on it, uh, so you cannot pump it here. So that's one of the reasons why we have uh, these two types of valves so you can use another type of nozzle to pump the kite the other reason also is uh, I like to pump my kites really uh, hard rock solid I like the lead edge to be really hard so it performs really well so uh, when you crash the kite if it's pumped really hard you're gonna explode the leading edge so this is another security reason uh, so when you crash the kite it can pop this out okay and that's also the reason why we have these different straps so anyway, uh, let me show you here. So right now, uh, since uh, as you can see here, we can choose. I have uh, different options of uh, different nozzles, okay? Uh, so if you want to pump this one, you can use this top of nozzle, okay? But since uh, we have all the nozzles here, I'm gonna use the bigger one here, and I'm gonna pump this one here. Now, if you don't feel comfortable by using this type of nozzle, you know, when you insert it here and pu push it really hard and pump it, and you want another type of nozzle that will secure it 100%, then you can go on our online store and buy this type of nozzle that will screw on top of the valve and secure it 100%. And then remove the other nozzle that we had here. Okay, remove from here. And then put this one back to there. And then you all secure. Now it's 100% locked in, okay? But again, you have a choice. So before you pump your kite, make sure to secure this type of valve first, and then you can start pumping with the speed valve. As you can see, I did not secure the valve with the elastic, okay? So I'm not putting the elastic around the straps because I want to be able to release the pressure when my kite hits the water really hard, okay? I love to pump my kites really hard, rock solid, Okay, so when it hits the water, I want it to be able to release and not to have to worry about my leading edge exploding. Okay, so if you're learning a lot of tricks or you're teaching someone, then make sure you don't secure the straps with the elastic. Okay, so we're done here. Now let's come to the big valve here because that's what we're gonna use, okay? So the reason we have this cover is to protect from the sand, okay, because uh, when it's blowing you on the beach, a lot of sand is going to go in, so you want to make sure you protect also the inside from the sand, okay? So you have to be really fast when you want to uh, close this down, okay? So right now we're going to screw this down. Here we have a big washer. The reason I have this big washer is so you can tight the valve really hard. I mean, so when you come in and you twist it, you want to make sure you twist it really hard so there's no air that escapes. Then open the top and then there you can use the big nozzle. But uh, if you want to secure it 100%, because here you see, we have to push it really hard in to stay, but if you want to secure it 100%, then you can buy the other nozzle on our online store. Okay, then you're ready to pump. So uh, make sure you uh, attach the pump to uh, the leading edge here. We have this special attachment here for the leash of the pump, and then you stop pumping. Okay, so we touch here the leading edge. You see, I can still put my fingers in. So, I mean, if you want to teach, this is perfect, okay? If you're going to do a lot of crashing, you don't want your leading edge too hard. But me, I'm going to be performing a lot, so I want best performance. So I want the leading edge really hard. So a few more pumps. Uh, look at this. You can hear it. Okay, you can even try to bend it if you want. See, you don't see any crease. It's very hard to bend. So this is perfect, okay? So for me, 
I want best performance. And how you do this is by getting the leading edge really strong, hard, solid. So then you come here, see here, and you remove it. There we go, okay? Now, if you want to hear for security, you want to push this and hear if there's any air coming out, okay? I'm pushing it, there's nothing, okay? I don't hear any air coming out. So it's perfect. But if I had it less, let's say, there we go, less. Look, I put pressure now. You see? That's not good. So you need to tight it really hard from the beginning. There we go. So now, let me try it again. Nothing, you see? I'm pushing it and there's no air uh, passing. So we're all set. Then put the top on. Close it. Tight it too. There we go. Okay. Put the cover on. And make sure you uh, lock all the struts. One here. And then the other ones. Okay, now let's go kiting. Hot girl, fat girl, get up, stand up But if you're not hot, nah, fat, then don't stand up It's a the real charge up, we get one up Y'all walk out in the middle, make a girl know you're What in the world, Cameron? What? I told you not to use the air compressor